So we fold the toasty clothes and put them in a pile. You put Hippo in the tumble dryer. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, silly Hippo. So then, who would win? Messi or Bobby Firmino? Messi. Listen, let me save you some time. It is always going to be messy. You may as well say, who's better, Messi or Paul Crap? <laughs> Paul Crap? Is he a real player? Yeah, of course. Played for Arsenal. Once scored 19 own goals. <laughs> All bicycle kicks. Who's better at football? Rosie or Paul Crap? Oh, definitely Rosie. Hello, Poppet. Did you have a good game? Yes. Scored two goals, both one-yard thunderbolts. OK, well, you're definitely going to need a shower. He was good. Was he? <laughs> yeah? Good as you in your heyday. Oh, Jesus, it's the honey monster. Oh, do you want a shower too, Rosie? Ben, will you be quick? Because Rosie wants a shower too. Mm -hmm. Oh. You want a bubble bath? Oh, Rosie, 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 let's just have a shower, yeah? She really does want a bubble bath. And it's your turn. I've got to keep dinner. <sighs> all right, all right. But can you just come up as soon as you can, please? Cause... Mm -hmm. Okay, Rosie. Bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> So these sessions will enable you to develop genuine, lasting relationships for you and your baby by helping to build that early framework for effective communication at home. And don't worry, as the regulars will tell you, it's also a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm a dingle dangle scarecrow with a flippy floppy hat. I can shake my hands like this. I can shake my feet instead. <laughs> Very good. I see you I hope you enjoyed the session. I have found sing therapy it can it can really reduce tension between you and your baby. It can help you connect in a loving, purposeful way. Oh, how old is she? Uh, six months. Oh, that really is a very small baby. Helicopter. Yes, Ben, it's a helicopter. Clever boy. Rosie is small. I doubt she meant any more than that. She did. Well, it must have been nice to get out. I hated it. The other mums didn't know what to say. It was just visible proof that she was different. I think my Rosie is beautiful. You just need to give it time. I'm not going back. I hated seeing normal children. It made me feel sick. Now you're just being silly. Mum. She doesn't smile. What if she's like this just forever? What if this is it?
Can you not handle it? I'm just doing the chicken. Rosie, you get out. You get out. Do you want some mini cheddars? <laughs> ah. Come on. No. Okay. Okay. This is easy. Just let the let let the water out. Yeah, I tried that. This is ridiculous. It's a tiny, tiny nine year old girl. Right away, right away. She's really, she's really sick of me. I can't, I can't get hold of her. This is ridiculous. I'm oh, super mad. Right. Okay, here she comes, here she comes. Oh. In a way, it's more efficient. We've all had a bath. You are a bear of very little brain. I mean, long words bother you. Can you just brush your teeth? I oh, know, we can both do that. But I've got to put these on. Uh. OK, OK. You know, the dentist said, when we finally do the hygienist, she's going to need a general anaesthetic. That's a professional toothbrusher insisting on knocking her unconscious. You've got to have a strategy. I've started using two brushes. Come on, Rosie. Time for paste. Come on. Come on, Rosie. It's only paste. On. You drink a puddle. So you bite down on that, and then Mummy can clean it What a clever Mummy. Oh, that's so bad. Oh. Still a two-person job, isn't it? It's impossible to do this on your own. You just need to think creatively, Si. You don't actually mean impossible, do you? Yeah. Literally impossible. OK, but yeah, but we might have to go in the faculty in the morning and you have to get ready for the bus. I mean, you brush your teeth then, don't you? Oh, it's hard. I usually do it. Oh, oh, bad, 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 oh, oh, That's it. The bit at the end of Revenge of the Sith. Which one's that? The third one. Is that the one with Dr Spock in? You know it isn't, and you know it's Mr Spock. Which one's Thor in? Is that Lord of the Rings? So it's about the end of Revenge of the Sith, where Yoda decides that baby Luke Skywalker has got to go and live on Tatooine, and it's decided that Obi-Wan is going to go and live in a cave for 18 years, space babysitting him. And you can just see in his eyes, he's like, oh, I'm fucking doing this, am I? I'm Danny McFucking Jedi, not you, you eat green shit. Oh, you love sci-fi so much. I mean, I know you have two kids, but surely you must still be a virgin. Are they adopted? Who would adopt her? That's the point. You don't get to choose with kids, do you? I've got one of God's little outtakes. I've got one from the wonky box. Yeah, well, you wanted another kid. No. Ideally, I wanted a pool table. Honestly, your first child is a, is a magical, life-changing, soul-affirming miracle. The second one's admin. And so you're Obi-Wan Kenobi in this analogy. What does he do for the rest of the Star Wars? Sit in the pub drinking prawn when he, when he should be back at work. Oh, next Wednesday, she wants me to take rules of some shit and babysitting. I went to an NCT class once. I did not really like it. I don't think you're supposed to. Mm, do you know? Well, yeah, fair enough. I'm not great with kids. I had cactus once that died. This track's really hard. Mm. Mm, it's that boomerang flower. Oh, Rosie. Where's Rosie? Rosie? Mm. Uh, no, 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 Hippo's not going for a tumble now. No, Ben needs his games kit drying so we can get it ready for tomorrow. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on. Up we go. Up we go. Come on. Come on, Rosie. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Just take this out. Did you try the anti-gravity track? Yeah. Hiya. Hiya, what are you up to? Uh, just doing some work. 
Right, so I'm going to be tied up here for a bit. Is that going to be okay? At the pub? Well, it's still a work thing, you know. Well, there's... Jobs about making contacts? Yeah, yeah. Say hello to Hells for me. Well, like you told me, you'll be able to go on your own, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just don't be too late. Mum? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> no. Rosie, I said no. Hippo doesn't want to spin round. Thank God we don't have a cat. <laughs> Mum, first rob the house. Don't mess with Rosie when she isn't making noise. Well, I need to dry your football kit. Don't you want to play tomorrow? <laughs> no, put that down, Rosie. You're making everything wet again. <laughs> Do you want a shower? Is that it? I think she wants a bubble bath. All right, all right, but just don't say that. Rosie, do you want a bubble bath? Maybe later. All right, come on, let's get those wet things off. Oh. All right, do you want a bath? Do you want a bath? Come on, we go, good girl. No, no, no more bubbles. Uh, so you've been in there for ages, so you can have five more minutes. Five. And if you come out nicely, you can have the mini cheddars. Hiya. Hiya. That's really loud where you are. I assume that's not the bus home. No, I thought I might stay for a couple more drinks. It's Pete's birthday. Who's Pete? He's one of the subs in the magazine, Pete. You know, Pete. Do you even know Pete's surname? Cronenberg. Cronenberg, Petey boy, why didn't you say? The sub-editor. That's a fellow, yeah. Yeah. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just giving Rosie a bath. That's great. Try not to be too late, though, okay? I do, you know. I'll give all my love to the Pete Meister. OK. Bye. <sighs> Wah! Rosie! <sighs> Speechless, cross, but impressed as well. Hi, here for the baby sing? Yes. Uh, uh, Rosie Yates. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Sorry, I was expecting Rosie's mum. No, I have to bring her from now on. Oh. <laughs> I've been to other things. Oh. NCT. Well, I went to one. I just figured I could get the information I needed from Country Fell. You know, liming season. Oh, well, uh, welcome. <laughs> I hope you and little Rosie have fun. <laughs> Scary bones, them bones, them bones, them scary bones, them bones, them bones, them scary bones, doing the spooky dance. Woo! Good. Come on, it's all about positivity. Remember, your baby will feed off your energy. Now, who knows where their head is? And who knows where their shoulders are? And what about your knees? Come on, Rosie. That noise is really annoying. Come on. You got a hurty somewhere? Hey? You need a poo. Do you need a poo? Oh, Jesus Christ! Whoa! I didn't invent a new word that was so big. It was giant monger norma. Great. I wonder if the jockey Wilson would have been proud of that one. It was almost as big as her. It was pretty funny. I'm sure it was, so. You didn't see it. I had to break it in two to get rid of it. Can we talk about something else? Just about the little moments, wasn't it? I just seen her lying there, looking up at me. I felt a real bond. Strange, isn't it? And the things that make us fall in love. That moment, th there's the moment I fell in love with my daughter in. Well, aren't you so fucking Lancelot? Well, I'm just saying. Well, I'm I'm pleased for you. I really am. Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, you cleaned up a poo. It's probably the first one you cleaned up, so you know, well done. And I'm sure your day out was was hilarious. I did take her to babysitting because you asked me to. Hope you had fun dancing to Wincy Wincy Spider. All right, lighten up. No, seriously, brilliant. Simon loves his daughter. 
Great. Maybe we should put an announcement in the paper, and meanwhile, I'll just get on with doing everything else. Well, no, you're being ridiculous. Parenting isn't about grand gesture, Cy. Si. It's about turning up. It's about being there all the time, every day. You know, but fantastic. You bonded with her, whoop de doo You know, but it means nothing when you just, you carry on like the king of shit mountain. I do do stuff. Oh, please, divorced dads spend more time with their kids. I have to work, Emily. Do you want me to stop working? Well, I gave up my job. I gave up my body. I gave up everything for this. You did that for now. For her, for our daughter. Well, she doesn't... She doesn't... She doesn't feel like my daughter. It's more like looking after a pet. A pet with human life expectancy. How long do you think this goes on for? It doesn't stop. It will never stop. <laughs> She's had a busy night. Hi. Don't be out. I should just put in the bath. It's quite bubbly. So you got her out. Right. Yeah, eventually. Did you have a good night? Yeah, it was a fun birthday. I'm not sure how old. Pete Cronenberg is. He's either 16 or 64. Been waiting to say that all the way home. Thought of it on the bus. So it all went in the bath. Oh, wow, that's fibrological too. That's probably got made up of tropes and everything, isn't it? Don't, don't take me on about science. I even pretend science. Mm. That's your Christmas present from Ali. That's the King Canute cream. How are you going to hold back the seven signs of ageing now? Yeah, she squeezed all your fungal foot cream in as well. So, yeah, we all lost out. Wow. You know, the cardinal rule of Rosie, if a liquid can be poured, verily it shall be poured. Mm. Sorry, it must have been quite bad. No. Do you, Doug? No, I'm not pissed off at all. No, it's brilliant. Brilliant how? Well, you know, like in Jurassic Park, when um, the raptors outwit Bob Peck, and, you know, clever girl, and then they, they eat him. Yeah. Well, it's strategy, Si. So she got out of the bath to get the bubble bath, and I just need to turn that to my tactical advantage. Versus a mentally disabled nine-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, so UCL, or I'm a silently correcting your grammar. Mm, I think superior and pedantic today. Thank you. Mm. Have you had that email about the senior management social next week? Yeah, I'm gutted, but... Uh, I just... I have to, you know, be at home. 3.30 every day because of Rosie. No, you're not getting out of it. It's a working brunch. A brunch? <laughs> what even is that? What arsehole thought of that? Tom Watney. Tom Watney does brunch. <laughs> I think he's had his teeth whitened. I was talking to him the other day and it was like he swallowed a torch. <laughs> Who's he trying to impress? Dear God, let it not be us. Mm. Hey. What's that? Are you uh, pitching a new research proposal? Uh, no. <laughs> it's a schematic of my bathroom. Why? You'll love this, actually. You can help. So I think I might be playing up front with Matt or Claire. Dad, don't. Yes, girls play football. Ben, please, I'll treat you like an adult if you return the favour, yeah? I know that girls play football. All I was going to ask is, did she play left or right side? And just how much are you in love with Claire? Oh, my God, are you going to marry her? Just embarrassing yourself. Oh, you're the one that's been banging on about Karen for, like, the last ten minutes. I mentioned her once, and her name is Claire. See, so you can't get her out of your head. You're obsessed. Just ignore him. The only reason we're married is because I grudgingly said I'd look after him. It's a bit like that hamster that you brought home on the holiday. <laughs> right, Rosie, is it bath time? <coughs> but she's not making the noise. <coughs> it's all right. I'll do it. And you... <coughs> So have you kissed her? <sighs> so no more bubbles. Bye-bye, bubbles. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, Rosie, Mummy's got to go and do something in her room. It's going out here. Why need a wee?
God, Mum, you only got out of the bath. It's not like you rescued her from Mordor. It works! Come on in. That's a good idea. Oh. All right, mate. All right, mate. All good. Yeah. Nice day for it. Yeah. I found Tiger in the puddle. That's what Pepper does. Because we don't have the right shoes for that, do we? We need wellies to run in puddles. But why is Rosie allowed to do it then? Because Rosie's special. I mean, you're special too, but... I mean, she's mentally handicapped. She's learning disabled. What's what I said wrong? Well, you know. I just mean, you know that bit of the dragon pit where the hound opens the crate and the crazed zombie runs at Cersei. Game of Thrones. Oh, we don't watch that. Hey, Rosie, I think it's time to go. Well, it's Carlton will never mess with Rosie if she doesn't make a noise. And I don't want to get my train as well. Right, well, we, uh, we get going. Got your work cut out getting her clean, haven't you? Oh, not my problem. Hi. to be further away. Rosie? Mummy's got to go downstairs now. OK. Bye-bye, Rosie. Just going to go downstairs. Just going downstairs. Bye-bye. I think I need to move these further away into our bedroom. I'm going all the way downstairs. All the way downstairs, Rosie. All the way downstairs. I'll put these in our bedroom then. Just downstairs. Going downstairs. <laughs> oh, no, I've accidentally signed Paul Crap. <laughs> Do it again. Stairs, Rosie. I'm, I'm here with Daddy and Ben. Oh, yeah, look, Rosie, Mummy's come to play FIFA. Do you want to take over Paul Crap? Or... Mum, have you gone weird again? No, no, it's Rosie's bath. I'm using the bubble bath to lure her out. But I've had to move it further away to give me more time to get back upstairs. It's like chess. You're playing bubble chess against Rosie. That's really weird. No, Ben. No, I'm just... I'm finding ways to manage her. That's all. What was that? What was that upstairs? <laughs> How did you do that? Oh, Rosie, no. Oh, thank God. It's not mine. Oh, what? No, no, superstar. Hey, me. I'm sorry about earlier. I wasn't trying to... I was a better parent, all right. It's all right. I'm sorry, too. I can do more with the kids. I'll take her out more. Come 
with me. Look at Rosie. She's beautiful. You know what? If we were to do all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. Because whatever's wrong, I'd want it to be wrong again. Because if she was different, she wouldn't be Rosie, would she? Would you? Do you want to change anything? Yes. Yes. I'll change it all. Really? You want Rosie to be someone else? <laughs> it was my worst nightmare, having a learning disabled child. And it seems like it's coming true. Well, why does it have to be the worst? Oh, because I'm an intellectual snob. I <laughs> know, because... Oh, because I don't know if I can... value her. Um... You know, and I love Ben with his... jigsaws and his puzzle books. With, just with... Oh, my heart, but I, I don't know. I don't know how to love her. I don't, you know, it's not that I don't want to love her. I just don't think I can. You're overthinking it. Yeah, well, that's what I do. Yeah, but you know, I mean, she's got you. You know, and she's got grandma, she's got the grandparents, yeah, and they all love her unconditionally, so, yeah, you know, she will be loved, so I'm just not sure if it'll ever be by me, that's all. And what are we doing here, Em? Why is all this to you? Duty. Well done. Checkmate. I mean, you win. This time. Uh, yeah. No, I have no idea what sort of contract it is, but I need my phone for work. Now I think it's time for paste. OK. Uh-huh, yeah. You want me to brush Hippo's uh, teeth? Yes. Instead? Water damage. Mm. Uh, I'd say extensive, but I'd also throw it in the bath. OK, well, I think we can brush Hippo's teeth first, but you're not getting off that lightly. OK. Maybe you're not such a bear, a little brain. 700 quid. I've got some sort of insurance on, right? Right. Oh. Oh. Such a good hippo. It's just that my daughter's really mentally disabled. Well, it should make a difference. 